Okay. Approximately 11 o'clock last night on October 27th, a resident of Medina Township in Lenawee County, which is in the southwest corner of our county, was forcibly entered by three masked men. They were dressed in black, armed with handguns. They forced open the front door, fired a gunshot through a window. The victim, a husband and wife in their early 30s and two young boys, age 5 and 8, were tied up and blindfolded. Suspects ransacked the home, stole cash, firearms, electronics, and tools. They were in the home for approximately an hour. After they left, one of the children was able to free themselves and subsequently free the rest of the family. The father was able to call 911 about 12 or 3 a.m. One of the family members was sexually assaulted and treated and released at a local hospital. The suspect stole a vehicle from the residence. It was a blue 2000 GMC Sonoma pickup, and I just found out just before I walked out here that we had recovered that vehicle at a location in Hillsdale County. And we are in the process right now. The Michigan State Police Crime Lab is going to come down and help us process that vehicle. And that's what I have right now. Do you think that these people knew these folks, or is this a case of wrong place, wrong time? We don't have any indication right now. From what I know, we're still on the scene, and it's still an active investigation that the people who live there had any knowledge of who these people were. How long after they broke in was the family tied up? We're guessing about an hour. So, no, how long after they broke in? I know the whole incident took about an hour, but did they break in then as soon as they broke in, tie the family up? That's my understanding. Again, they're still on the scene. We're still trying to put all the facts together. Where was the mom sexually assaulted? I can't, I don't know. I don't have that information. Was she also tied up? It was in the house. It was in the house. Was she tied up? Everybody was tied up. She was tied up when she was sexually assaulted? Everybody was tied up. When you say she was sexually assaulted, just for clarification, are we talking rape? I am not going to disclose that at this time. Are any of the other people inside the house injured in any way, shape, or form? Just upset. Do we know when they forcibly entered? Did they knock on the door? Did they just break the door in? They just broke the door in and pretty much simultaneously shot a hole through one of the windows. And it seems random right now. It seems random right now. We are in the process right now. And, again, we're busy processing the scene, but we're going to be contacting surrounding counties and agencies to see if anybody is having similar incidents so we can work together with them. And, again, the State Police Crime Lab is going to be on their way down, and we'll get to that part of it later today. So right now you're not sure if there's any connection to other areas? We're not sure right now. We're in the process of checking out. Obviously, that's pretty important, but our detectives have been very busy with the family and the scene. Sheriff, this happened in a very rural area, a very wooded area. How serious of an incident are we talking here? This is a very serious incident, and we take this very seriously. These people like this can, you know, you can assume may escalate the next time. So we're very intent on trying to figure out who was doing this. Were family members sleeping? Can you kind of describe what? They were in bed asleep. All of them? All of them, yes. Do we know where the suspects are headed? Do the suspects are? We do not know. Anybody in mind? We do not. We don't know anything right now. Do we know what race? No. No. They had masks on. It was dark, and we do not. Now, we got a tip that somebody, that they were tied up in the bathroom, the phone lines were disconnected. Is that true? Is all of that true? Were the phone lines, in fact, disconnected? No, the phone lines were not disconnected. I do not know the locations. I personally do not know the locations in the house where they were actually tied up. I know the mother and father, I think, were in the bedroom, but I don't have the details on the rest of it. I haven't talked to my detectives. Did the suspects say anything when they came into these folks? Like, were they just not shot, or were they pretty handy? They were pretty forceful, pretty forceful, pretty forceful. And I don't want to go into details on what was said, but there was a lot of verbal verbalizing going on. With it being a rural area, I mean, I don't know the necessary location of neighbors, but did anybody hear the gunshot from those surrounding? Not that we're aware of, and I haven't been out there, so I don't know how close the closest neighbor is, but it is kind of a rural area. And they were searching the woods today. Are they just calling for evidence out there, or what? Yeah, we're looking for everything we can, obviously. Okay. Do you 
consider these men uh, continue to be armed and dangerous. dangerous. Extremely dangerous, absolutely. absolutely. Hopefully we can uh, piece together what kind of vehicle they might be in now. We just don't have any idea right now. So. Have you ever had anything like this happen in, in this area? Is this well, we've had several break-in areas in the past where serious things have happened. But this time, uh, in recent years, I don't remember anything this fine. But uh, we've had some, some uh, pretty violent VEs break and entering us in the last few months that we've, that we've been investigating. But nothing like nothing with uh, uh, this kind of uh, violence and uh, guns and uh, assaults, nothing like that. We're talking children involved here, too, with the witnesses. Very serious. Very serious. Definitely will have a, an impact on their family. Anything else that you can think of? No, just uh, for people in that area to be vigilant. Again, I, I, I say this a lot on a, on a lot of the things that we handle. Be aware of where you're surrounded. So this was a tough one because they were asleep. And, and it was dark and it happened very suddenly and very violently. So it's, but again, we would encourage anybody in that area to see their own suspicions to certain calls. Is it unusual for them to make a return to the same area where they once, once were? Would you throw that out? Well, I, I don't think I'd rule that out. I mean, we'll have to see if there's any other uh, surrounding counties you know, that have had some similar incidents to see if we can narrow it down. But uh, probably not return to the same house necessarily. But um, as we know, sometimes people that break into houses, they'll do a particular area. That's that's not a thought. Uh, but I can't, you know. Right now, you don't know the motive, but the family. Um, have they ever had any trouble with the law in the past? Not that I'm not very familiar with what I understand.